Hello everyone, welcome to Halo Moon Tarot. This is your uh, weekly reading for Aquarius. How are you? So I am doing singles love readings for New Year's Day. If you're single looking for a single specific love reading, this is a general read, can be any aspect of your life. Take it how it best resonates for you. Aquarius, what is it you need to know? This one wants to come out. I see overcoming some obstacles. Beautiful. You can overcome anything. Okay. I love this card because it's so interesting. You think that that was a rock, but it's actually a peach. So it's very soft. You see, and there's a sword in it. So it's very easy to overcome this by pulling out that sword. <laughs> I really like that card. Yeah. Obstacles to overcome, yeah, being a wise leader. It's also an energy of being, uh, you are a beacon for others. So it's about being wise, taking the lead, and being the leader in your own life. You can overcome anything, okay? So I feel this is very positive energy here. Yeah, and I see infinite abundance, yeah. I see a lot of abundance pouring into your life. And I see taking the lead, being the leader, staying focused. It's an energy of, you know, it's kind of like the king and queen of wands kind of energy <laughs> okay it just has that kind of energy but of course you're aquarius so i feel it, and it could be someone coming towards you taking the lead overcoming some obstacles okay so we'll see it could be yourself or someone around you but you have a lot of abundance pouring into your life see a lot it's infinite it's an energy where this just can go on and on okay put those aside all right Aquarius, what is it that you need to know about this overall energy? What is it you need to know? Here we go. Yeah, so a lot of focus on money, finance, the future. It's about preparing, overcoming obstacles, being prepared for anything that comes your way. You can overcome it. So very nice. Just be grounded and sensible, looking at the situation. Okay, before you make a decision, but we know the queen of uh, coins, the Malika of coins in this deck is someone who's preparing ahead, planning ahead. So, yeah, very nice. Yeah, look at that. Oof. I see the birth of something new. Empress energy. Yeah, see, it's open to opportunities. The Empress is very capable of using their power to overcome any obstacle. So the Empress is also uh, very healing, grounded, sensible, somebody who... You know, doesn't put up with any BS, but also very kind and compassionate. So I see a lot of grace, someone being very uh, uh, generous, but being graceful, a lot of grace, generosity. I feel like you just have a lot to offer. Uh, I see someone here probably coming in to take the lead, or they just see you that way. Ah, they the Malika of Cups. So this is all the beautiful energy of the birth of something new. This could be to do with love, but I do see someone looking on the past with kindness, compassion, planning and preparing for the future, being ready. Um, also, the Queen of Cups is someone who can be, or the Empress is someone who can be very creative, someone who collects ideas, is open to anything. So it's being a leader here, I feel. Really nice. And this card here wants to come out, yeah. So I do see taking a little break. Someone taking a little pause, taking a little break here. Just kind of clearing out their head before making a decision. So it's really just about being sensible. Often when there's a decision to make, uh, obstacles to overcome, okay. If you uh, take a little break, clear your head, uh, your thoughts, and then make a decision, even sleep on it. <laughs> yeah see being wise sometimes it's wise to take a little break here especially if there's been a lot of focus on money and obstacles challenge and overcoming so it's basically an energy of, of uh, some sort of reward is being able to take a break you've earned it kind of energy six of cups yeah and someone possibly longing for love a little reminiscing but it's also an energy of keeping things simple clearing things up clearing things out so I do see uh, possibly a new crush here too, but it's also an energy of someone you know, fantasizing, romanticizing the past. Someone's about to come in and take the lead. Yeah, this is some sort of sudden decision, some kind of an epiphany. You know, the tower. Yeah, you could have a new crush here. It could be somebody, you know, maybe there was some kind of ending here, but I, I feel it's really just somebody fantasizing here, <laughs> romanticizing the past. Someone may be missing you. 
but it's also often a new crush, something very sudden. Someone's about to come in and take the lead. Let's see what that's about. Yeah, so there it is, very sudden, some kind of sudden change to do with this epiphany. The tower, some kind of shock and surprise. Fast-moving energy, multiple opportunities, infinite abundance. Wow. You got lots of... Well, I see a busy time, yeah? You got something new. See, there's that birth of something new. Could be a new person, new love interest, new job, multiple opportunities. Possibly feeling a little overwhelmed. So like I say, take a little break if you're feeling overwhelmed. If things happen kind of suddenly here. Okay. <laughs> Yeah, I do see a Leo energy here. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Let's have a look at the infinite abundance. What else do we have here for you, Aquarius? Aquarius. Yeah, see, look at all these options, possibilities, see? Look at that. There's choices, infinite abundance. Someone here wants to start something. They see opportunity. So there's an opportunity coming in. Now, it could be a bit of a shock surprise. It could be happening too fast where you feel a little overwhelmed. Now, if it's not yourself, it could be another person. So let's see who this wise leader is. Let's have a look at this wise leader and see what it has to say, if it's a person or just an energy. Why is the wise leader here? Clarity, please, on the wise leader. Yeah, someone who has a crush. Someone who's keeping things kind of simple. Someone who's off. And I feel there's something sudden here. There could be some kind of sudden news, a shock of a pregnancy. I got a, um, I just kind of feel that with the Empress being there. Yeah. But I feel you got a new crush. I feel someone here is fantasizing. I mean, it could be someone that you know, that you knew a long time ago. Tell me about the Malik of Coins. Why is this here for Aquarius? Yeah, I see friends and family. Um, some positive news to do with. There's an energy of three. Somebody, there could be news of a birth. It could come as a shock, a surprise. <laughs> yeah, I do see success, victory, some kind of truth. Uh, and maybe even an idea. Collaborating with other people, possibly. There's other people. There's some kind of good news leading to success and victory. You're overcoming some obstacles. Now, those obstacles all t often are competition and conflict. Okay, somebody challenge, uh, challenging someone here. Could be some kind of competition. But I see a truth. So let's see what this Empress energy has. Let's see what comes out of the Empress energy. There we go. That, oh yeah, you got someone coming in. You got someone coming to call and communicating here. Now it could be this is someone overcoming obstacles. It's possible. It could have something to do with friends or family. Yeah, they're coming in quick. I see communication. This person wants to talk. They're definitely exploring their feelings. It looks like dating and opportunity. Some of you may have a couple dates with someone. And I actually feel it's going to go quite well. I see a success. Yeah, overcoming any obstacles or challenges, competition. I do see other people there. <laughs> Yeah, something's coming in, though. I see opportunity coming in very quickly, uh, suddenly. Now, it's often somebody who's a little bit flirty, because we know the, the Knight of Cups is someone who's a little bit flirty. Often a little fickle, too. So, like I say, just maybe keep things a little simple here. Let's have a look at the Malika of Cups. Yeah, look at that. We got, there's a reason to celebrate. You got some positive energy here. It's a house, a home, a party, an invitation. Someone could some be someone spontaneous, wants to come and see you. They may be bringing you a little gift. It's somebody obviously has, you know, a little romantic where they bring you a little bit of a gift here. They may be giving you something. Feel like you're open to receive with the Empress. <laughs> oh, yeah, you're open to receive. Yeah, it could be someone reaching out, wanting to know if you're available too. So that's... Uh, but I let's see what these obstacles are. Oops, that, as soon as I said it, that flew right out. Yeah, there could be some kind of competition, or obstacles or challenges um, for two people here. I see a lot of talk, fast-moving energy. It's positive, though. I see there's positive news, positive communication. So I do see overcoming some obstacles. Tell me about a you know, little Gemini energy. Tell me about this connection, this bond, the love between two people. 
Yeah, you got someone here, Knight of Pentacles, slow and steady wins the race. This is someone focused on obstacles. Now, it could be money, finances. This is a person who's somewhat apprehensive, but they want it to be successful. Some of you may have a couple opportunities coming in, maybe even invitations. So you may have some kind of choice to make here. But that, you know, that Knight of Pentacles is uh, someone, yeah, I see someone playing it safe here, taking a break, being a little cautious, a little careful what someone wished for. See, someone's pinned down by their thoughts here. Yeah, Queen of Pentacles again, see, taking a little break, clearing out your head before you make a decision, being practical and sensible. There it is, someone reaching out. Whether or not you're going to, it's telling you to just be really practical, to really just take your time and look at the situation carefully, okay? Maybe sleep on it. <laughs> Some sort of invitation. It could involve a sleep over. I have to say, I'm saying to be a little careful how much you give. Keep a few things to yourself here. It's a, like I say, pinned down by some thoughts. It's also a healing energy, but I feel it's just someone taking a break. It's time for a break. I, I see just invitations, party, celebration. I see someone focused a lot on their house and home. So maybe it's an energy of, you know, um, seeing some kind of truth. It's time to get out there, maybe and socialize. I actually feel if you do, you're going to get offers and opportunities. Let's have a look at the tower. I know that's what everyone wants to know, what this tower is about. To me, it feels positive so far. Yeah, see, some sort of sudden communication, looking at the details very carefully. Someone has a crush on you, or it's someone romanticizing the past. Someone may be missing you. Okay, it could be someone you know. Yeah. See a lot of talk, fast moving, fiery energy, maybe feeling it. And like I say, maybe somebody here felt a little overwhelmed. Things may be moving too fast, but the Empress is there. The Empress is very gracious, very generous and kind, compassionate. And the Queen of Cups is there too. So someone who's definitely kind and compassionate. Often someone sacrifi who sacrifices. Yeah. I mean, it's very possible some of you may have dated somebody and things were moving kind of slow. Maybe it was moving too slow for you. Maybe you decided to take a little pause or a break to think things through. Uh, I do see the energy of someone coming in being generous, but it's also an energy of someone not giving too much to someone, being a little cautious. Don't give too much. As the Empress only gives so much, just a little, but I feel someone's going to reach out. It could be someone trying to tempt you. It's telling you to look at it carefully. There's some kind of shock or surprise. It could be a gift. Yeah, something you're, it's a situation coming to fruition suddenly out of the blue, likely when you least expect it, when you're focused on other things. <laughs> Maybe even when you're sleeping, a communication coming in. Tell me about this Six of Cups. It's here twice. Romanticizing the past, fantasizing a little bit here. Yeah, you got someone new coming in. I see new. There it is. Yeah, it looks like it could be someone you know, looking to see if you've started something new. Someone's looking for clarity. So they want to know something. There's that eight of wands again. Duplicate cards. And we have the sun, yeah. So this is where you know what you want. You're not settling. I see a lot of, see, we've got all the energies of the Empress coming out. This is where you know, I feel, okay? I feel like you've got this with that energy. But this is, you know, someone who knows what they want. I do see talk, communication, someone sharing, talking, something they're very passionate about. But I see this new energy. Some of you may have a little uh, Leo in your chart, Aries or Sagittarius. It's a fire, just energy, but as someone who knows what they want, they're not afraid to go after it, see? So I see this fast-moving energy. Now, some of you, if you've had a choice at some point here, someone may have been moving too slow. Maybe you have a choice or a decision to make here because I see someone keeping you waiting. You're waiting for news, waiting for communication. See, something you're waiting for is coming in. It's coming to fruition, okay? You're getting something that you want here. But now that you have it, I'm not so sure you want it. That's what I'm kind of feeling. So, but I do see new and I see twice. Uh, you may have two new people, but, or someone here that you already know that's missing you, maybe looking to see if you've started something new. They're contemplating They're, you know, th this is someone on a little bit of a journey here. See, it's an energy of being wise, looking for clues and answers. Someone wants to know something. And there we have, yeah, look at that. Seven of Cups, opportunity. 
it's here twice. See, it's an energy of an opportunity. Some of you may have options. We know the Empress often keeps their options open. So someone may be looking to see if there's obstacles, competition. They're kind of moving slow. They're apprehensive, but they want this to be successful. I feel they're just being a little cautious, playing it safe. We know the, you know, the Empress often plays it a little safe, kind of thinks of things, you know, like I say, sleeping on it before you make a decision, whether you want to reciprocate. See, it's whether you want to reciprocate the Queen of Cups. It's whether you feel the same about someone. Now that you, something is coming, I'm not so sure you want it. And I do see other options coming in. So I feel there's a little procrastinating and some kind of choice to make here. But it's energy of two people who see opportunity. So really watch out. But I, I feel like you've got a lot of abundance. You have a lot of really positive energy. It's an energy of being a leader, taking the lead. Maybe this is yourself taking the lead. Or someone sees you that way as a leader. Someone who's confident and brave, strong, uh, determined, who doesn't give up. Someone who's very passionate yeah you've got some very a lot of happiness and joy here to do with options and possibilities see look at that queen of cups exploring your options see looking at possibilities some kind of op new opportunity coming in and maybe even several for some of you you could be feeling a little overwhelmed things moving too fast and you could also be busy focusing on work or maybe even just taking a break um, some of you do need a break from work i can see it Tell me about the Six of Pentacles. Why is this here? It's in the heart of the reading. It has to do with a new crush or someone missing you, someone longing for love. See, someone longing for love here, definitely. Uh, you have all the answers within yourself. Whatever it is you're seeking, you have the answers within. You see? You know, I feel like you're keeping some things to yourself here. You're just kind of keeping things a secret. You're not saying too much. You're not sharing too much with anyone. So if this person's thinking of talking to your friends or family, you know, they're not going to know <laughs> because you're keeping things to yourself. You're just kind of chilling out here, I feel. Some of you are clearing things up, clearing things out too. Maybe of your house, your home, you know, just kind of chilling out, relaxing. Kind of moving at your own pace here. Slow and steady wins the race. <laughs> you're looking at the situation. Yeah, but you're whatever it is you're wanting. This is waiting for a situation to come to fruition. It's going to come in sudden when you least expect it or when you're sleeping. That's what I feel like it's saying. So, Seven of Cups. Yeah, you got an Empress. See, someone who sees opportunity with the Empress. This is an opportunity. This person sees it. Now, it has to do with someone getting their cup filled. See, someone never got something they wanted. You see, someone here I feel is missing you. Maybe they never got what they wanted. Now, it could have to do with someone sharing their feelings and emotions. Because we know the Queen of Cups is someone who waits for someone to reciprocate. The Empress showers abundance upon someone and then waits for this person to extend an invitation or to reach out to communicate. But I feel while you're waiting, I see somebody new. Someone new here, contemplating here. I feel some of you got a new crush, but I also see the energy of someone that you already know. Because there's someone here you already know. But I actually feel the answers within. Because I feel if you have a opportunity for maybe a reconciliation or a little reunion, get together. Okay, you may not feel the same. I got to be honest, you may not feel the same. Uh, about somebody as you did if they kept you waiting but i feel like you're just gonna kind of I, I feel with the queen of cups being here he's gonna kind of go with the flow and see what happens but i do see new opportunities and i do see an energy of someone who sees an opportunity of being with you okay just be careful someone doesn't take advantage an opportunist so watch out for that energy as well but you have an emperor so who is this emperor yeah, they're the one that I think doing the soul searching here. They're looking to see if you've started something new or they're just looking for clarity. They're looking for some kind of clarity here. Yeah, they're thinking things through, choosing their battles. This is something worth going after. Okay, they're thinking it through here. Choosing their battles. Someone making a choice. Now, it could be the other person who has other options. They could be someone who has other options here. Well, we know the Empress is no one's option. So this is where I feel like you might just be chilling out at home, taking a break, getting over, you know, healing. But I really feel most of you, it's what it is, whatever it is you're waiting for when it comes in. I'm not so sure you're going to want it. So, and you could be yourself, like I say, just kind of contemplating here. 
Let's have a look at that hermit energy. Virgo energy, you may have that in your chart, some of you, so you often kind of go within. Into me, I see. <laughs> you have the answers. You already have the answers you're seeking. Yeah, it's an opportunity. See, this is someone who wants to give you an opportunity. See, this could be a job situation too, but it's a call, maybe a communication where someone's coming in. I feel suddenly out of the blue when you least expect it. Yeah, you might be focused on someone new too, because I see waiting. While you're waiting, you may have a new person coming in. But if there is someone who's kept you waiting, that could be something they're a little bit afraid that you're no longer waiting, that it's too late. See, too little, too late. The ship has sailed. You may have started something new. So, yeah. And I do see opportunities. I see so much abundance. You have a lot to offer. Someone sees opportunity with you. But the thing is, do you see opportunity with this person? Yeah. And you got an emperor here. They're thinking it through. They're choosing their battles wisely. They're going to be choosing their words wisely, too. <laughs> yeah. And right here. Because this is someone who... You know, I feel that some of you got someone you know, and this is your passion, you know, fast moving, fiery, um, creative energy, a lot of talk and communication there. So someone who needs to make up their mind too, I feel, because I feel it's an energy of someone who, I feel someone's fantasizing, thinking about you. I really do, romanticizing. And I do see someone here thinking of something romantic. Okay, I definitely can feel that. They could be planning something. But I'm going to be honest, this is someone who I feel is going to reach out. They're hoping you invite them to your home or you are the one that extends the offer. So they're kind of, this is someone who's kind of hoping for that, I feel. But it's also, and because you're not, I don't think you're focused on them. In fact, you may not even be talking to this particular person who's missing you. Or just a person who's longing for love, wanting you to extend the offer. But they're looking for clarity to see if you've started something new because it's like you're 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 not really waiting anymore. But because I do see the offer, the opportunity. They want you to give it to them. They want you to fill their cup. So to me, it looks like someone who uh, is a little bit of an opportunist. Yeah. But they do see opportunity. I mean, I see a lot of joy and happiness. This is someone who's looking at this. You know, they're seeing clarity. They're seeing this. So I do feel like you have a new person. It does look like an emperor energy. Yeah. This is someone who can't stop thinking about you. You see, there's someone who can't. If you had a date with someone and it didn't go anywhere and it's taken this person a long time to reach out again, you may be feeling that you're just healing from it or clearing it out. You know, what's the Empress does is just kind of calms down and just focuses on other things. But yeah, it looks like you got a person who uh, keeps that can't stop thinking about you. See, they're doing some thinking, they're analyzing the situation. It's obviously a very logical person. I do see that Aquarius energy. Um, Gemini for some of you, but I feel like this person can't stop thinking about you. They're choosing their words wisely, should they or shouldn't they? But this is. See, there's someone looking at things from a different perspective, putting the shoe on the other foot. Now, this could be just, just someone who's been checking you out over and over again, looking to see if you've started something new. Okay, But I do think you've got a person who's longing or missing you that you aren't talking to. And I feel like you've been waiting for them to reciprocate. But like I say, I feel like you've got a person coming in here, that one that's looking to see if you started something new. If they come in, I'm not so sure you're going to feel the same. Tell me about the Queen of Wands. This is yourself being a leader, maybe even taking the lead. It's possible, maybe. I feel this is somebody who wants you to take the lead. The Empress isn't going to do that. The Empress wants the masculine. The feminine wants the masculine to take the lead because I don't think you're going to. In fact, you're just going to focus on other things. Now, some of you may be thinking about that. Maybe you're tempted to, uh, to reach out and take the lead to get this going. But I, I feel like you're going to take a pause and look at things from a different perspective. Queen of Wands energy. Well, it's all, see, there's something lacking. See, it's an energy of lack. See, it's whether somebody comes in right. See, somebody coming in with lack. So I do feel some of you are lonely. You may be tempted to reach out or you think that this person is. There's something to do with money. Someone sees opportunity and there's some kind of lack. So I would be a little, little careful there. Yeah. I do see an energy of change. Yeah, I do see some kind of change. I do see somebody possibly coming back around. 
It could be someone who will never change. That's what I feel. And that's what I feel. You're going to take a pause and look at this different. I feel like you have a choice. And I, I feel that you've got this um, person here who looks like a Taurus Virgo Capricorn. But I also see Cancer Pisces Scorpio energy. Both nights. I see some strong Leo, Aquarius, and Gemini. Uh, the Emperor, little Pisces energy there. So it's definitely someone in touch with their feelings, emotions, but often it's a person who kind of keeps it within themselves, but they can't stop thinking about you. Yeah. Here we got the Emperor. See, I feel like you're just open. I feel like you're just keeping your options open here. <laughs> You've got op you have options coming in infinite like lots. If you and I think the message for a lot of you is just to get out, okay, to get out and socialize with friends and family, because I do feel like you're going to meet a couple people fairly quickly, uh, just coming in fast out of the blue. See, it's the birth of something new: party, celebration, get together, invitations. Um, gorgeous energy but I do think you know your worth and your value so if somebody doesn't come in right or put their best foot forward I feel like you won't be uh, reciprocating so you've got a lot of opportunity coming in here I see definitely several new uh, but somebody who here who definitely is someone you know I can see the person reminiscing fantasizing thinking about you yeah I do see an Aries energy. So there's a, someone here take, thinking of taking a leap of faith, pushing through that fear, you see, to take a risk. See, someone here can't stop thinking about you. It has to do with taking a leap of faith. Now, the Queen of Wands is there. Some of you may have some Aries in your chart or Scorpio. It's just an energy, but it's about pushing through fear. Some of you are thinking of actually, you know, let, or just letting, taking a risk somehow and reaching out, letting know this person that you're open. It's like we have someone waiting for a sign and a signal. They're waiting for something here. But while you're waiting, you have other opportunities. And that's what I feel someone's worried about with the, with the tower and <laughs> that sudden realization, the epiphany, like, oh no, they must have started something new. Yeah, but I also feel the epiphany is where they know they need to be the one to start it too. Yeah, you've got a king of wands. See, it's somebody who needs to take the lead. See, they want you to take the lead. Now, some of you maybe have taken the lead. The empress will if they want, but really just to let someone know that they're open and they're available. See, open to the idea of love. I do see kindness, compassion, someone looking on the past with kindness and compassion as well. But I do see some of you moving on from someone because I do see change. Yeah, it's definitely an energy of maybe some of you are tempted by this because you're feeling a little lonely or you feel like someone's just coming in because they're lonely or they see opportunity with you because they don't have a lot of money. Okay, well, you can take that how it resonates, but the Empress is generally stable. Let's have a look at the infinite abundance. You have so much to offer. Oh yeah, you got a King of Pentacles here. You know, the king and queen of pentacles, the power couple and an emperor and an empress. So, yeah, you're making a choice. I feel someone here, they may have Aries in their chart, uh, taking a leap of faith. Or it's yourself. So there's a risk involved. A <laughs> little bit of a risk to push through fear. You know, so, someone living in the moment. I actually feel this person's going to be the one to do it. Because I don't. I think you're, you're not going to take the risk. You may have done that already. Um, could be one of the lessons that the Empress has learned here to let them take the lead. But I feel they it's somebody who wants you to. And I feel they might even reach out and tempt you. Toss a little breadcrumb, a little hint. Because <laughs> you're going to look at it. It's a breadcrumb because the page is looking at it. <laughs> Coming from the Queen of Pentacles, looking at the details. See, feeling pretty apprehensive about it. You're looking at the situation. Yeah. Some of you just got a couple of crushes coming in, new people, but I do see someone romanticizing and fantasizing the past. They're reminiscing about you, maybe time you spent together. If they're thinking pretty happy thoughts, they want to offer you this pinnacle. Now I do see the King of Wands, which is someone who generally takes the lead. So who is this King of Wands energy? I feel a lot of this is connected to one person too, is the Emperor. So... That's what I feel is transpiring. See, it's someone a very confident. It's about someone becoming confident, being brave, being strong. See, being wise, taking the lead. They have to take the lead. This is someone who needs to, you know, um, pull in on that masculine energy and just go for it. 
And it does look like they're going, if they have Aries in their chart, they're the one taking the leap of faith. But if it's yourself, it may be you. Okay, because I do see a temptation here. The breadcrumb dropping a hint. I feel like you already know everything you need to know. Some of you, like I feel you already know the answer, uh, whether you're going to reciprocate with this person or not. Okay, but I definitely feel like you're open to this King of Pentacles. Someone stable, grounded, sensible. Okay, well, the energy of the Emperor. Yeah, I see a connection. See, some of you are going to be willingly releasing someone. So there is definitely an energy of mutual mutual energy feeling mutual two people on the same page drinking from each other's cup this is an energy of someone everything they could ever want see someone here feels like you're everything they could want and i feel the feeling is mutual so but there is a need to release things that no longer serve okay so some people are going to be left behind here mm -hmm. letting go but it's a, definitely someone's hopes and dreams but it's an energy of you knowing your worth and value it's two people who, who are valuing each other okay each other's company i think it's just a there's just abundance here between the two of you so this will be the person i feel that you're waiting for so while you're waiting you have all these other people coming in but i'm not so sure you're interested especially if there's someone i mean the person coming back from the past could be someone you're waiting for obviously um, like I say, waiting, but so you do have a choice to make. And I feel like you're going, you know, I feel like you're going to kind of get into your emotions here uh, with the Queen of Cups. I see looking on the past with kindness, compassion, forgiving. The Empress can be very forgiving, but definitely someone who definitely uh, will stand up for themselves here too. So there's definitely an energy of luck, but it could be this person too. This could be someone else, this person you know, like I say, they could be someone who has a few options as well. But I feel it's an energy of moving on. I also see with the Queen of Cups, just going with the flow, just seeing where things go, seeing how it evolves. But I do see change. Okay, I do see change. Some of you changing. Something has changed you. But I, you know, and it could be where you change your mind at some point too. <laughs> So I feel it's an energy of telling you to think on it, clear your head before and sleep on it before you make a decision. I think you're going to keep this person waiting. Okay, while you you decide here. I do. And that's where I, it's funny because I felt it earlier and went, no, I don't think so. And I shouldn't have second guessed myself. I think you're going to keep them waiting. Yeah, you're not going to answer right away. You're not going to reciprocate right away. Is your intuition's telling you here? <laughs> just let that's it. You know, often it's just you know the mystery of the em empress, suspense, keeping this person on the edge of their seat. And if it's someone who kept you waiting, maybe you're just giving them a taste of their own medicine. <laughs> All right, the star, Aquarius. Yeah, you know your worth and value. There you go. You're in your power. You're going to take your power back from someone. You're releasing someone and and open. You're open to someone else here. You're open to this King of Pentacles. This is the person I feel like you're the most interested in. Now, they really could be anyone. They could have Cancer Pisces in their chart. They really could, you know, they could be any sign, but they are an emperor. Okay, this person's an emperor. They see opportunity. This is a person who knows a good thing when they see it, and they're just going to go for it. They're in it. Basically, it's someone living in the moment, but it, it very well could be you getting this offer, the start of something, and you decide to take that leap of faith if you have Aries, Leo, or Sag, or Scorpio in your chart, because there's change coming, which you know, with water and fire, I often feel Scorpio energy. Yeah, it's an energy of someone coming in right, being fair. Someone who's just right. See, some of you have someone here where you know someone just isn't right for you. And maybe after all this time waiting and healing, um, you know, focusing on work, you just may feel someone here just isn't right. But you've got new coming in and likely even some of you, several new people coming into your life and options. But someone here, definitely, it's two people who see opportunity in each other. And that's that King of Queen of Pentacles, King of Queen of Wands energy. Yeah, see? Single people. So two people enjoying the fruits of their labor. Is so someone here thinking about you? They definitely are single, but it looks like someone's looking to see if you are. And they actually could be someone you know. But others of you, I feel like there's someone here you don't know. <laughs> so, And I actually feel two, two new people. But I do feel like you're open to something new, see? Not so much 
that past energy but you won't know till it happens that's why i feel like you're just kind of waiting for a situation to come to fruition before you make any kind of choice so let's see where you're headed here yeah so i do see rainbow blessings yeah this could be a blessing in disguise often too but i feel here you've got so i mean the infant abundance the rainbow blessings is showering into your life i feel like you have a soulmate connection a bond uh, maybe you'll just be friends first with someone i definitely feel this is someone who would agree to that because they see opportunity you see but you really want to watch out for people who are opportunists who want to take who may take advantage of your generosity okay so i feel like you've learned some lessons about that here too so i feel like you're coming to the end of a journey here i see a lot so much abundance talking being on the same page you're really going to get each other so take care okay it's one of those readings where you just kind of with the world being here i feel just sort of taking it as it comes and going with the flow focusing on your money other things that are important okay to this beautiful empress energy but you're you're coming out of this with i mean this person just sees the possibilities with you it's like you're the full package but i feel this person is too because you're both seeing opportunity and that's what i like so much so we'll see you soon bye for now